Hello guys and welcome to the last chapter of the hard surface uh, unwrapping tutorial with Ryzen UVs. So basically after my last stream my video detection device uh, crashed, well my video capturing device crashed and uh, didn't save the whole stream so I'm just gonna make a quick overview of what happened in the last stream and what we did and how everything looked in the end and what was the end result basically. So here we have our um, low poly model ready for unwrapping. As you can see, everything has been modeled. Uh, the magazine is missing because we're gonna reuse the one we have already. And there's a couple of small parts I totally forgot about, like this rod handle and uh, stuff like that. But other than that, everything was made. Uh, so we basically exported everything back to Ryzen. We unwrapped it, as you can see right here everything got unwrapped and unstretched and stuff like that we had a couple of issues and we had to re-export a couple of times because of the geometry errors but that's the usual so here we have uh, everything is mostly straightened out i tried to straighten everything out with the uh, vertical and horizontal um, constraints to make it uh, grid perfect uh, because of the baking as you can see there's a lot of small islands and uh, maybe I would revisit this uh, unwrapping part again but uh, I think it's fine and uh, the, the results I'm, I'm satisfied with the results basically because it looks really really okay in the painter so after that I exported this all back to 3ds max and uh, I added a couple of things which is turned to poly, which uh, triangulates your model and then a uh, single smoothing group for everything else because I've been told that works best in the painter for baking. And that's it, we export it to painter and this is the end result of the clean bake of, uh, I think this is 4K resolution. The only problem we have is, uh, is with geometry causing these um, stupid shading bugs, as you can see, we have a couple of these right here and right here near the poles basically and a couple of here yeah which I wasn't expecting because this is a flat surface and this shouldn't be a problem but it is a problem so I'll have to fix that but other than that I mean this is a some random material I applied so we can see it better because if you look at it here it's not that obvious really but if you zoom in, yeah. As you can see, we still have a couple of problems with um, projection, like this part here. I will try to fix that in Marmoset. And we have a couple of problems here, but this is because the geometry is intersecting, which I will have to move later in 3ds Max after the painting is done. As you can see, this part right here is passing through geometry, so it has to be uh, moved. I will do that later. Uh, but other than that, the only uh, problem I have with this is my uh, high poly model of the stock. As you can see, it's too hard on the edges. So I will have to uh, smooth it up in ZBrush or something like that, probably. And uh, rebake this part. And it should look pretty, pretty nice. As you can see, the parts coming from Houdini are super, super smooth. It's nice and uh, rounded edges compared to the stock. Stock is very very hard compared to these Picatinny rails on top and um, yeah so I'm pretty pleased with end results and um, the only thing left now is to paint everything and uh, that's it probably yeah so yeah nothing uh, nothing special but I like the bake everything is clean I will have to probably fix this geometry I'm not sure what's causing this error but it's always around the poles anywhere you have a circle or a cut in your geometry this is causing the issue I mean the problem is the topology is not clean so I will have to quantify it or something I will have to make nice quads for that to make it work but other than that uh, most of it I mean Okay, this part up here is not super clean, but it doesn't have to be because the crosshair is coming inside anyway, so it won't be visible. This part could be cleaner. I did forgot to cut the holes in the mesh, 
but if you look at it from here, I mean, it's really not noticeable. I mean, nobody is going to zoom in here in the game. This part could be a bit more precise, but I don't know. I think it's it's fine because of the size and everything, so should be fine. Yeah, we're missing a couple of screws here and there, but other than that, I think it's it's just fine. Yeah, and the the biggest my biggest concern is the projection because as you can see, stuff that should be straight is tilted because the way normal mapping works. <clears throat> and uh, the problem with Substance Painter not having any sort of uh, tool to uh, tweak the stuff you want to be projected differently, like the, for instance, Marmoset, where you can just paint your projection skew and stuff like that, so it's much more easier to work with. But I had some issues with Marmoset Painter a while back, so I didn't use it this time, so maybe I will give it a shot another time. We'll see. Anyway, other than that, this is everything I have to show you and um, I wish you all the very best with unwrapping and this concludes our unwrapping, our hard surface unwrapping tutorial with Ryzen UVs. So take care guys and bye bye.